going to talk to us on a special subject called Sangeeta Chikilsa. I give uh, the stage to uh, Dr. Sri Vatsava to start. Hello, sir. Hello. Namaste. Namaste. Yes, sir. Now say, sir. Now say, sir. Uh, am I audible? Yes, sir. Should I uh, unmute uh, Dr. Arhand also now? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Dr. Arhand, hello? Yes. Hello? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, I'm in. I'm okay, sir. Please take it away, sir. Okay, thank, thank you. you. presentation what we are uh, trying now we want to call it as e tadvidya sambhasha uh, we did many tadvidya sambhashas uh, till now myself and uh, dr arhan so this is a special kind we thought of uh, doing e tadvidya sambhasha because it is the challenge it is the need of era so that's what we are presenting today in front of you uh, hope uh, it will be cherishing you all on the occasion of uh, World Yoga Day soon, we are going to celebrate it on the 21st of uh, this month. So it is our duty to present another yoga, which is a very important one for all of us, uh, because uh, Nada Yoga is one uh, which can infuse the universe with blissfulness. So keeping that point in mind, uh, I started my presentation with the Raga Aravi. So this Raga Aravi uh, is meant to infuse Shanti, Dhriti and it is calmness, Dhriti, igniting the knowledge. So. This is uh, very essential for all of us at uh, present situation. So keeping that point in mind, I started my talk with Raga Arabhi. The Haim is from Bhagavad Gita. Of course, Bhagavad Gita provides as many positive aphorisms. Sangeeta Chikitsa, it is the blend of Daiva Vipashya Chikitsa, Yukti Vipashya Mantra we are making use of as a part in Sangeeta Chikitsa, wherein Daiva Vipashya Chikitsa is coming to picture. We are planning properly regarding Raga, regarding compositions and all. There, Yukti Vipashya Chikitsa will come into picture. Of course, always we are trying to infuse always we are trying to incorporate positive aphorisms that is ahite bhyo arthe bhyo mano nigraha uh, wherein we are sat using sattvavaja chikitsa thus sangeeta chikitsa it's always a blend a combination of all the three daiva vipashya yukti vipashya as well as sattvavaja chikitsa so with this background uh, we are going to enter for the presentation uh, which is more of a practical one. Here, 
uh, we try to give you an experience of sangeeta chikitsa at the same time we are trying to give you the concepts to be known while practicing sangeeta chikitsa because both are very important without shastra prayoga will be baseless and without prayoga shastra will become useless so we know this so always there should be blend of both shastra as well as the prayoga so both will go hand by hand as i already said it is a way of presenting nada yoga too i request you all to follow the instructions whatever we give in between so that you can experience the essence of sangeeta chikitsa uh, with this uh, i request dr arhan to go ahead for shastra bhaga over to you dr arhan thank you very much dr shivat sir without much delay let's get started with sangeeta chikitsa the music the elixir of life myself dr arhan kumar along with dr shivatsa take you to the world of music it has been said in the quote that science is the curiosity about the life art is the wonder at life philosophy is an attitude towards life religion is a reverence for life culture includes all these four aspects such as science art philosophy and religion and sangeeta is one such culture let it be in our life hope with this positive pure note and hope let's get started with actual sangeeta therapy the theory aspect at the end of this marathon one and a half hour deliberation you will be able to get sensitized to what sangeeta chikitsa exactly and also you can able to know different fundamentals of music with its relevance in treatment before going to the actual sangeeta concepts let us see and let us have the insight what ayurveda talks on sangeeta chikitsa what what bruhatrayi talks about sangeeta chikitsa let us first go through with few references from charaka samhita sushrut samhita as well as vagbhata samhita first in first let us go through with charaka samhita's references in charaka samhita sutra sthana 15th chapter that is upakalpaniyam adhyaya it has been mentioned that gita vaditra ullapaka shloka ghata akhyayika itihasa purana kushalan abhipraya gyananamutamscha so well constructed well structured hospital should have expert of gita and vaditra here gita refers for expert in vocal music and vaditra refers for expert in instrumental music along with that there there should be ullapaka that is expert one who one who expert in rendering um, different stutis shloka refers to expert in reciting shlokas etc so this shows the importance of a musician importance of music therapy in hospital setting let us go and find another reference which is there in charaka samhita sutra sthana 24th chapter that is vidishonitiyam adhyaya where it has been mentioned that vismapanaihi vismaranaischa priya shruti bhirevacha patubihi gita vaditra shabdais chitraischa darshanehi in order to bring back the unconsciousness of mada murcha and sanyasa patient we have to use patubihi gita vaditra the conducive vocal and music a vocal and instrumental musics effectively so this shows once again the practical applicability of sangeeta chikitsa and it further in the literature it has been said that tasya samrakshayitavyam hi manah pralaya hetutah that means in case of mada murcha and sanyasa more than sharira mana should be protected in order to protect manas this geeta vaditra shavana becomes an effective tool and in another context 
that is in charaka samhita vimanasthana 6th chapter roganikam adhyaya it is said that shruti sukam mrudu madura manonuganam cha geeta vaditranam shravanam that that is in the context of pittasya upakrama or pittala upakrama it has been mentioned that geeta vaditranam vocal music and instrumental music should be administered by considering shruti the literature of the song sukha the rhythm of the song mrudu a soft pitch or a gentle pitch of uh, the particular song madhura melodious song manonuga individual based song i think this is an ideal reference for the practice of sangeeta chikitsa which is uh, contributed by charaka samhita to the field of sangeeta chikitsa let us find another reference in charaka sharira sthana 8th chapter jati sutriyam adhyaya that anuparata pradana mangalashihi stuti geeta vaditram annapana vishadam anurakta prahrushta jana sampurnam cha tad veshma karyam that is this comes under the context of raksha karma of kumara in kumara gara after the birth it suggests that geeta vaditra or expert musicians and expert vocal musicians and instrumental musicians should be there even in kumara gara this shows the importance of music in therapies in charaka samhita chikitsa sthana 8th chapter that is rajayakshma chikitsitam adhyaya it has been mentioned that suhrudam ramaniyanam pramadanam cha darshanaihi geeta vaditra shabdaischa priya shruti bhirevacha that is in the regimen which is prescribed for rajayakshma rajayakshma condition is geeta vaditra shabdaihi the vocal and the instrumental music should be effectively used in order to combat with kshaya condition so this shows once again the practical applicability of um, sangeeta chikitsa so these are the few references of charaka samhita now let's once again switch back to dr shrivatsa on the practical aspect of sangeeta chikitsa which is aiming at mooladhara chakra over to dr shrivats thank you dr rahan as i already said uh, this is a practical session now i request you all to focus on this uh, particular aspect so we consider the concept of chakra while advising sangeeta chikitsa so that always starts with muladhara chakra and so for every chakra we know the physiological aspect we know the structural aspect we know the spiritual aspect i am not going to explain that in detail now uh, we will switch on to the practical aspect which is very essential for all of us i request all the participants uh, to sit straight uh, and uh, keep your eyes closed so that you can feel this raga this raga is very important one which is meant for uh, muladhara chakra uh, so the raga is udaya uh, one more important point i want to share here is Uh, we are making use of karnataka shastriya sangeet i don't want to call it as carnatic music because uh, it uh, distracts the meaning uh, for uh, karnataka shastriya sangeet uh, the original place is said to be southern part of india especially karnataka kerala tamil nadu as well as andhra pradesh we have strong base for this and uh, and uh, this is very suitable applicable ideal for uh, sangeeta chikitsa that's why we are making use of the raga of karnataka shastriya sangeeta here so i'm starting with the first raga that is raga uh, udaya raga we also call it as uh, raga bhauli uh, because uh, raga bhauli is meant to stimulate uh, the first chakra that is muladhara chakra so i request everyone to keep your eyes closed keep your back erect just feel this raga Uh, which is a very important for all of us abhayam satva samshuddhi abhayam 
ಸತ್ವಸಂಶುದ್ಧಿ ಜ್ಞಾನಯೋಗ ವ್ಯವಸ್ಥಿತಿ ದಾನ ದಾಮಶ್ಚ ಯಜ್ಞಶ್ಚ ಯಜ್ಞಶ್ಚ ಸ್ವಾಧ್ಯಾಯಸ್ತಪ ಆರ್ಜವ ಸ್ವಾಧ್ಯಾಯ ತಪ ಆರ್ಜವ ತಸ್ಮಾಸ್ತ್ರ ಪ್ರಮಾಣಂತೆ ಕಾರ್ಯ ಕಾರ್ಯ ವ್ಯವಸ್ಥಿತ ಜ್ಞಾ ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರ ವಿಧಾನೋಕ್ತ ಕರ್ಮ ಕರ್ತು ಇಹಸಿ ಕರ್ಮ ಕರ್ತು ಇಹರ್ಹಸಿ ಕರ್ಮ ಕರ್ತು ಇಹ the raga this particular raga is meant to rectify the ailments that are manifesting at the level of mooladhara chakra so we know the different disorders that are affecting uh, at this particular site that should be known and accordingly different components of this raga should be used which is very important one this raga is having various variables various components those points we are going to discuss one by one in forthcoming presentation have the knowledge regarding this usually we make use of this raga at the initial part at the starting part or in the morning hours usually we make use of this raga and listening this raga is said to be inspiring throughout the day so muladhara chakra is the one which regulates almost all parts of the body including the local parts so that's why this raga is more ideal at this level so we will move on to the further concepts of sangeeta chikitsa over to you dr arhan so till now we came to know about various references of charaka samhita let us switch on to the references of sushruta samhita few i am um, giving here in sushruta samhita chikitsa sthana 25th chapter that is kshina valiya vajikaranam adhyaya it has been mentioned that yamini sendu tilaka ಕಾಮಿನಿ ನವಯೌವನ ಗೀತ ಶ್ರೋತ್ರ ಮನೋಹಾರಿ ತಾಂಬೂಲ ಮದಿರಾ ಸೃಜ ಇಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಬಿನ್ ಮೆನ್ಷನ್ ದಟ್ ಗೀತ ಆರ್ ದ ವೋಕಲ್ ಮ್ಯೂಸಿಕ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟ್ರೂಮೆಂಟಲ್ ಮ್ಯೂಸಿಕ್ ಈಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಎಫೆಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಇನ್ ಆರ್ಡರ್ ಟು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ದ ಎಫ್ರೋಡಿಯಸ್ ಆಕ್ ಎಫೆಕ್ಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ದ ವಾಜೀಕರಣ ಎಫೆಕ್ಟ್ ಹೌ ಎ ಗೀತ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ಗೀತ ಶ್ರೋತ್ರ ಇಟ್ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ವೆರಿ ಆಡಿಬಲ್ plausible pleasable and also manohari it should be conducive to manas so geeta should be shrotra and manohari both components should have this yield vajikarana effect in sushruta chikitsa sthana 34th chapter very interesting uh, reference we, we could able to find in case of vamana virechana vyapat if the patient undergoes unconscious then 
we can administer this music therapy also in order to bring back the consciousness it has been mentioned in the literature that visangne venu veena geeta swanam shravayet not only the vocal music instrumental musics also such as venu flute veena can also be used as a effective mode of uh, bringing back the consciousness in an unconscious patient after vamana and virechan and very famous reference we have from ashtanga radeyam sutra sthana 13th chapter that is dosha upakramani adhyaya in the context of pittasya upakrama it has been mentioned that pradosha chandramaha saudham harigitam kimu anilaha a person should go to terrace and expose his body parts to moonlight along with that he should listen harigitam harigitam refers for here conducive music suitable music should be um, uh, one one must listen to suitable music and also himo anilaha meanwhile he should expose it to cold breeze this bring pitta shamana effect so after knowing all these references from charaka samhita sushruta samhita and bhagavata samhita can we adopt this prescription as it is after reading or knowing about these prescriptions definitely no then how to administer these prescriptions given by our ancestors unless and until we um, we uh, take into the practical uh, aspect these principles will be dead so that's why what is the measure to adopt these principles in the treatment how we can adopt these principles the answer is paratantra avalokanam we have to get studied the allied sciences especially sangeeta shastra we must know the sangeeta shastra in order to advise these all prescriptions without knowing these sangeet this sangeeta shastra it is very difficult to advise these all prescriptions given by our ancestors so let us go through with the actual sangeeta shastra from now onwards there are three important aspects in order to administer sangeeta chikitsa the first one is sangeeta itself we have to know about sangeeta in and outs of the sangeeta second we have to understand purusha third is yukti is very important how we administer what in which mode in which method we administer sangeeta matters under the heading of sangeeta we will be going to know about what exactly bhava is what is raga taala and also kruti not only knowing and we will be knowing about um, its weightage in the treatment aspect in case of purusha three components are very important prakriti vyadi and chikitsa let us in future slide let us discuss those and in yukti the the effect of the sangeeta can be enhanced through associated uh, other treatments such as relaxation breathing various diets and nutrition environment what we expose to that particular patient while doing sangeeta treatment aromatherapy and chromotherapies so now once again let us switch back to dr shrivatsa for the practical demonstration of one of the stutis related with swadishtana chakra then i'll once again switch back to the theory aspect over to dr shrivatsa so till now we come to know about uh, muladhara chakra now we will switch on to swadhisthana chakra so i request once again everyone uh, to keep your eyes closed and feel this raga which is very important one uh, so afterwards uh, i will explain the concepts related with this उत्तम 
उत्तम पुषस्वन्य परमात्मेदृता उत्तम पुषस्वन्य परमात्मेदृता यो लोक आवेश्य विभर्त्यय ईश्वर यो लोकत्र आवेश्य विभर्त्यय यस्मात्र अतीतोहम यस्म अति The hymn which I have used once again, it is from Bhagavad Gita. Let me recall what points I have already told you. So we are keeping mantra in mind. We are keeping the concept of sattva vajaya in mind. We are keeping the concept of yukti vyapashaya in mind, as stated in Charaka Samhita. So we are making use of these three and we are bringing the concepts of Sangeeta to practice, that is Chikitsa. So the Raga which I have presented in front of you now is Mohana. As the name itself says, it is going to provide the effect in a similar way. It's mesmerizing the Raga Mohana. It is targeting towards Swadhisthana Chakra. The avayavas, the organs which are present at the Swadhisthana Chakra get energized through this raga. So whenever we come across with diseases affected due to abnormal level of energy at the level of Swadhisthana Chakra, we should make use of this raga mohana. So once again, the positive aphorism exclusively for Swadhisthana Chakra has been incorporated here and the Raga Mohana, which is suitable for Swadhisthana Chakra, has been uh, incorporated here. So this Raga is Mohana and the Hain is from Bhagavad Gita, that is Purushottama Prapti Yoga, because this positive aphorism is targeting towards the Swadhisthana Chakra, that's why uh, it has been incorporated. So over to Dr. Arhan again for Shastra Bhag. Thank you. In the last few slides, we came to know about Paratantra Lokanam, that is, allied, knowing allied sciences. Especially Sangeeta Shastra is very essential to prescribe these prescriptions what our Acharyas has been given. In order to advise the, these prescriptions, three important components we have to know that is Sangeeta, second Purusha, 
third vyadi let us go further with the journey first on what exactly sangeeta from its evolution it has been known through mythology that the sangeeta has been origin from lord shiva during shiva tandava through his tamaru the seven notes what we have or what we know that is ta ri ga ma pa da ni sa is origin from the dhamaru of lord shiva during shiva tandava and also we know various celestial bodies or deities has or possess one of any one of um, the musical instruments such as narada deva narada rishi or muni possess veena saraswati devi possess veena again vishnu deva possess or has kamsh or shanka krishna deva has look it shows the importance of music especially instrumental music which is um, which is um, emerged from uh, those um, uh, in the in the uh, post eras and also we know that uh, this sangeeta shastra has been emerged from rigveda yajurveda samaveda and atharva veda all the essence from these four vedas has been um, taken and framed gandharva veda as uh, some says that it is uh, the veda it is the upaveda of rigveda and some says it is the upaveda of Sam, uh, samaveda but anyhow gandharva veda is the essence of all four vedas this gandharva veda possess the information related with pranava or omkara we know omkara contains three aksharas o u a and ma from u a and ma this omkara has been emerged that is um, uh, uh, omkara has been emerged from omkara again seven notes that is sa re ga ma pa da ni sa has been emerged from ukara udatta swaras such as ga and ni has been developed from akara ri and da notes has been developed from ma kara swarita has been developed that is sa ma and pa and we in the ancient literatures especially in vedanta darshana we have the concept of tattva masi that is whatever exists in the loka the same exists in the sharira that is tat refers for loka tvam refers for purusha asi refers for samhita or um, a presence whatever the rhythm which is present in the universe the same rhythm is also existing inside the body from that rhythm these seven notes or sangeeta shastra has been developed and a very interesting concept is there that is called as zoo musicology in the literature it has been said that shadjam vadeti mayuro gavahatu rushabha bhashinaha ajavikam tu gandharam kraunchah kanati madhyamam pushpa sadharane kale pikah kujati panchamam daivatam heshate vaje nishadam brhate gajah these seven notes has been developed from observing the voice of various animals such as shadjam vadati mayuro by hearing the voice of mayura or peacock shadjam the word the note sa has been developed gavah tu rushaba bhashinah the note ga has been developed from the word uh, from the voice of rushaba or bull ajavikam tu gandharam ga shabda has been uh, ga shabda has been developed from the voice of aja and avi kraunchah kanati madhyamam makara has been developed from the voice of kraunchah pakshi that is a type of crane pushpah sadharane kale pikah kujati panchamam 
the pa note has been developed by the sweet voice of pikaha pikaha refers for here cuckoo which makes sound usually during during pushpa sadharana kala that is especially in vasanta rutu daivatam heshate vaji the note has been developed by developed by hearing the heshate vaji that is neeing voice of vaji or horse nishadam bruhate gajaha finally the knee note has been developed by hearing the voice of by hearing the sound of the voice of gaja or elephant and in some other context it has been also said in the literature that nadopasana has been developed or the sangeeta shastra has been developed through four important stages in the first stage person insist or insister started listening the rhythms and orders which is there in daily activity in the second stage the same rhythms and orders they observed the diversity in it in the third stage they attached a positive emotion to those diversified rhythms and orders which they heard in day to day and in the fourth stage they combined or they made oneness in the positive emotion and the sound thereby the music has been started and in other um, reference also we have related with the progression of the music there are various steps in that first one is vaikhari where a person speaks a dense audible sound which conveys a very basic meaning in madhyama level talk thoughtful sound a person thinks something and he speaks and he makes sound so that is thoughtful making of sound in pashyanti stage the third stage sound vibrates will be interpreted in mind here mind thought and the sound will be in cordance and fourth stage is ultimate unifying substratum where it is mind sound mind sound and the thought all four all three go hand in hand finally shabda brahma that is the sound which is emerged in accordance with the thought and mind gets matched with the universal rhythm here para and shabda brahma kind of sounds can be used for music therapy not such as the vaikari which is the basic level of sound and it is said in the literature that the seven keynotes that is sa re ga ma pa also developed based on seven levels of human consciousness so these are uh, the various versions of evolution of sangeeta chikitsa uh, sorry uh, sangeet now let us once again switch back to dr shivatsa on rendering a stuti related with manipura chakra so knowing the basics of sangeeta chikitsa is mandatory because it's very new for all of us without knowing the evolution of the sangeeta uh, it is not possible for us to incorporate sangeeta in the management uh, let me stress this point Uh, it is not like uh, raga to roga it is raga to rogi because i am getting uh, so many questions uh, here uh, just uh, asking about which raga for which disease so that we come to know when we know purusha when we know the dravya that is sangeeta in the form of dravya how we are, we are incorporating so we are trying to give the concepts first because without knowing shastra there will not be prayoga so now we will move on to the third chakra that is manipura chakra we know this and now Uh, first uh, let us experience it then uh, i will come to uh, the practical uh, information about the same so once again i request you all uh, just uh, to keep your back erect just observe your breathing and uh, let us try to feel this raga 
then uh, we will come to know about uh, its application mm -hmm. brahmarpanam brahmarpanam brahma habe brahma agno brahmana hutam brahmaiva te na gantavyam brahma karma samadhina brahma karma samadhina aham vaishvanaro bhutva aham vaishvanaro bhutva प्राणीनाम देहमाश्रित प्राण पान सुक्त प्राण पान सुक्त पचामे अन्न चतुर्विधम पचामे अन्नम चतुर्विधम सो दिस राग इज हम सद्ध्वनि वंस अगेन अ राग इन कर्नाटक शास्त्रीय संगीत चक्र इज मणिपुर चक्र thana is agnisthana raga hamsadhvani is meant for deepati so what is required at manipura chakra so that is going to be supplemented by this raga and the high which we have selected it is also talking about positive aphorism it is from bhagavad gita it is a targeting agni hope you are understanding this so we should know the pathogenesis at the level of agni we should know the pathogenesis at the level of swadhisthana chakra sorry manipura chakra so for manipura chakra the raga ideal will be hamsadhvani because it is having deep t and the high which we have selected is also enhancing agni which is very important one so i think all the uh, audience uh, all the listeners Uh, of course commonly we get uh, the word audience because we will present in front of everyone so this is very something special occasion wherein uh, we are talking about the subject in front of nothing uh, shunya in shunya we are talking about this one uh, it is very special occasion so here uh, this point to be known so we have combined all the things targeting manipura chakra that is agni so wherever there is defect of agni we should know how to target manipura chakra we should know the raga which will be uh, ideal one over to dr arhant for next uh, shastra vivaranam in the earlier slides we came to know about the emergence and the evolution of sangeeta shastra let us go further with the components of sangeeta there are three important components of sangeeta pasvam bhava or geeta or bhava it is nothing but the thought vadya or raga it is it is nothing but the word nritta or tala it is action from the first letter of bhava raga and tala itself the name for this our uh, the name for our country bharata has emerged 
so that is bhava raga and tala where bhava raga and tala is practiced widely that desha is called as bharata desha the same has been depicted in the above mentioned shlokas that is gandharva miti vigneyam swara tala padashvayam geeta vadyam tatha nrutam trida sangeetam uchchati let us go and find these components one by one the bhava emotion or sentiment is very very important during music therapy unless and until we make the person to get a particular emotion or sentiment the treatment becomes pain so here bhava refers for transmission of expression thoughts and emotions from the composer to musician and also from musician to the listener or the person who is having disease so there are several bhavas we know it is nava bhavas shungara hasyau karuno raudra viro bhayanakah bhivatsau adbhutah shanto navadeti rasomatah as in ayurveda we have shadrasa here in case of sangeeta shastra we have nava rasas let us go further and find the details of these nava rasas as a part of bhava sentiment or expressions so shrungara refers to the sentiment of love hasya is the sentiment of humor or amusement karuna is nothing but the sentiment of compassion or tenderness raudraha is nothing but the feeling of fears or savage or wrathfulness viraha refers to the sentiment of heroism or being heroic bayanaka is the sentiment of apprehension bhibatsa is the expression of disgusting adbhuta is the sentiment of astonishment or surprise finally shantaha the expression of quietism or tranquility so through research we have found out that there is a link between emotions and specific organs anger is related with liver and gall bladder if a person becomes angry often and often then his liver or gall bladder will be affected the joy is related to heart and smallest intestine the overthinking expression related to spleen and stomach grief kind of expression related to lungs and large intestine and finally fear is related to kidney and bladder there is a relationship between the swara and bhavas so we, we came to know about uh, the different swara, swaras sapta swaras and also nava bhavas so let us link it shadjam rushabam sanyate raudra virakata tata gandhara karuna shanta hasya madhyama sanyitah shrungara panchamaschaiva bhibatsa rasadaivatah bhaya adbhuta nishadascha shrunu devi rasodvavam in the literatures of sangeeta shastra it has been mentioned that sa note is related with raudra bhava re note related to veera bhava ga note is linked with karuna and shanta bhava ma note is linked with hasya bhava pa note is interconnected with shrungara bhava da note is connected with bhibatsa bhava and finally ni note is related with adbhuta bhava so there are uh, this Uh, bhavas can be uh, can be um, uh, initiated in the patient in two modes first one is raga bhava that is expression conveyed through melodic theme the theme of the present music can induce a particular kind of expression or sentiment in the patient and also artha bhava 
that is the expression conveyed through literature in a particular song if that particular song contains a strong literature or the sahitya then it leads a particular type of bhava or expression uh, in the patient that, that is more important unless and until we induce bhava in the patient there cannot be desired effect which is which can be seen in the patient the second component is raga so let us go through with raga there are three um, modes of raga first one is swara second raga third nada let us go and find the difference between these three swara is dhatu nama swara prokto maturakshar uchyate it has been mentioned that swara is the articulated sound and syllable forms the very basis of concept of raga it is nothing but a particular word or a sound which is emerged due to articulation second is raga where swara varna visheshena dhvani vedena va punah rajyate yena yah kaschit saraga itya vidiyate the particular note or the word can be improvised and termed as raga here raga is nothing but a particularity of tone which is there in beautified form by the notes and their movements which delights the mind of the people for example if i want to say sa is just a swara sa becomes raga when it is beautified such as sa so this is the difference between swara and raga swara is just a articulated sound raga is improvised sound and there is something different difference in nada nada is nothing but a musical sound which is universal in nature whenever we sing whenever we hear or listen a song we participate in that we feel as if we are singing if such a feeling is emerged then we can say that nada is present otherwise nada uh, it, uh, it can be said it can be said as it is absent so now let us go through once again with uh, the rendering aspect from dr shrivatsa on the stuti related to anahata chakra over to dr shrivatsa hello i think uh, dr sir uh, has uh, some network issues uh, one second yes hello sir hello yes am i audible yes sir yes sir okay fine uh, sangeetha chikitsa is ocean uh, so we are presenting only droplet for you all so don't think that it is ultimate so because we are getting uh, so many questions talking about uh, uh, the essays in sangeetha chikitsa we are talking about abc alphabets of sangeetha chikitsa we will come to the essay later Uh, okay uh, so now we will move on to the uh, next chakra anahata chakra uh, so we know the organs present uh, at anahata chakra because all of us uh, we studied about the swastavrata we studied about the yoga uh, we studied about ayurveda so that's why we are not giving basics about these aspects we are directly switching on to the uh, practical aspect so now i request you all uh, to focus on uh, anahata chakra once again keep your uh, back erect uh, and observe your breathing keep the eyes closed first uh, let us feel this raga uh, then uh, we will uh, come back uh, for the uh, description about uh, this particular chakra mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
समदुखस्वस्थ समलोष्टाश्म कांचन तुल्य प्रिया प्रिया धीर तुल्य निंदत्म संस्तुति तुल्य निंदत्म संस्तुति मनापमानो तुल्य तुल्यो मित्रि पक्षयो सर्वारंभ परित्यागी यगुणातीत सौच्यते गुणातीत सौच्यते this is the chakra where the importance has to be given for the balance of a triguna trigunas are coming to picture here we know the avayavas or the organs present at the level of anahata chakra so for the asthana we know it so we should focus on that we should give importance for that so wherever we come across with the ailments of uh, cardiovascular cardio pulmonary system uh, then we should focus on this aspect which is a very important one which has been explained explored in detail in charaka samhita at a different context you take arthay dash mahamulya we take trimarmiya siddhi trimarmiya chikitsa everywhere we come across with the importance of this one so, so the rag which Uh, i have selected here is madhyama avati uh, with the name itself says the naming of raga sorry i should not use the raga uh, the word karnataka karnataka shastriya sangeetha uh, so madhyama so it is balancing one which balances uh, all the trigunas so keeping that point in mind the raga madhyama avati has been selected uh, once again the haim is from uh, bhagavad gita Uh, 14th chapter we call it as gunatre vibhaga yoga so here uh, the shloka is targeting towards balancing all the gunas uh, and our journey is always towards gunati tattva so here that positive orientation has been uh, represented so whenever we come across with the diseases ailments uh, pertaining to this particular chakra then we should make use of uh, this raga over to dr arhan for shastra bhaga in the earlier slides we came to know various aspects of bhava and a few aspects of raga let us continue further raga also has various other components such as gamaka jeeva swara raga ranjaka prayoga mano dharma and geyatva these aspects will be demonstrated further by dr shrivatsa in the next rendering there is a link between each note raga and chakra so based on this principle we are demonstrating now the note sa is related to the raga kan kanada and also shankara varana it is related to mooladhara chakra re note is linked with purvi kalyani raga and swadishtana chakra ga note interconnected with kamboji raga and saveri raga and also manipura chakra ma note is related to hindola raga and darbar raga and also anahata chakra pa note related to hamsa dhvani and kedara gaula raga 
and related to Vishuddha Chakra. The note is linked with Madhyamavati Raga and Agnya Chakra. Ni note is related to Kalyani Raga and Sahasrara Chakra. So there is a link between Panchamahabhuta, Raga and Tala as per uh, the literatures of Sangeeta Shastra. So the Panchamahabhuta that is especially the Akasha Mahabhuta is related with the Kedara Raga and Triputa Tala. Vayu Mahabhuta is related with Husaini Raga and Rupaka Tala. Agni Mahabhuta linked with Saranga Raga and Rupaka Tala. Jala Mahabhuta is linked with Yamuna Kalyani Raga and Tishra Eka. And finally, Putri Mahabhuta is related with Bhairavi Raga and Rupaka Tala. Likewise, we also have the link between each Raga and Doshas. Bhairavi Raga is especially indicated in case of Kapha Dosha dominance or Kapha Prakriti person. Shankara Bharana Raga is useful in case of Pitta dominance and Pitta Prakriti person. Finally, Purvi Kalyani Raga is linked or very effective in case of Vata increase or Vata Prakriti. Likewise, we also have the relationship between the Raga and various components, uh, various parts of the day. For example, morning, Bauli Raga is more suitable one during Sangeeta Chikitsa. Afternoon, Shankara Bharana Raga is more suitable. And evening, Purvi Kalyani Raga is quite effective in managing Vata as Vata will be dominant in evening. Likewise, we also have each zodiac sign or rashis along with the ragas. Let us go one by one. Mesha Rashi related with Latangi Raga. Rishabha Rashi is related with Vasaspati Raga. Mithuna Rashi is linked to Kiravani, Kirwani Raga. Karkataka Rashi is linked with Hemavati Raga. Simha Rashi linked to Kalyani Raga. Kanya Rashi is linked to Shanmukam Priya Raga. Tula Rashi is having link with Ragavardini Raga, Vrishika with Natabairavi, Dhanu Rashi with Dharmavati, Makara with Ganamurti, Kumba with Sarasangi, Meena with Charukeshi Ragas. Likewise, we also have the relationship between each Rutu and the Ragas. The Vasanta Rutu in Vasanta Rutu, Vasanta Raga is more suitable one. In Grishma Rutu, Todi is suitable. In Varsha Rutu, Amrita Varshini Raga is more suitable one. In Sharad Rutu, Hindola Raga is more effective. In Hemanta Rutu, Nata Narayana is very effective. And finally, in Shishara Rutu, Sri Raga is more useful. Also, there is a link between each region and the ragas. In particular type of tropical region, particular type of raga is very popular. In case of mountain, forest and hilly regions, Hanumatodi raga is quite famous and useful and effective. In deserts, Shankara Bharana raga is quite effective. And in Madhyama Desha or moderate Desha, Kalyani and Maya Malava Gola Raga is very, very effective. Now, let us once again go to the practical aspect of Sangeeta Chikitsa with a hymn related to Vishuddha Chakra. Over to Dr. Sivats. Welcome back to Prayoga Bhaga. Uh, so, till now, uh, we try to focus on uh, Anahata Chakra. So now we will move on to Vishuddha Chakra. Uh, we know the location, so focus on the location, which is also very important, and the breathing. 
that is in Kanta Pradesh, Vishuddha is in Kanta Pradesh. So focus on that one, which is very important one. Once again, I request you all to keep your back erect, which is very important one. Uh, so now uh, we will feel the raga first, uh, and then uh, we will try to know the information, which is very important. One. Sarvabhutasthamatmanam Sarvabhutani Chatmani Sarvabhutastham Atmanam Sarvabhutani Chatmani Ikshate Yoga Yukta Atma Ikshate Yoga Yukta Atma Sarvatra Samadarshina Yomam Pashyati Sarvatra Sarvam Cha Mayi Pashyati Tasya Pranashyami Sajame Pranashyati Sajame Pranashyati The Raga is Malaya Maruta. All of us, we are familiar with this one. So here comes, we are getting synchronized, we are getting linked with the universe from this chakra onwards. The process of breathing starts, the process of breathing is under this chakra as we all know, this main one. So that's why uh, we should know the sat satmyatva, samyatva between loka as well as the purusha. So keeping that point in mind, this sign is a talking about Loka Purusha Samya, which has been again explained once again in Bhagavad Gita, uh, that is in Dhyana Yoga. So, this sign has been selected. Raga Malaya Maruta is uh, uh, selected here. It is meant to rectify, it is meant to purify Vishuddha Chakra. So, that's why this Raga has been selected. So, whenever we come across with the defect um, at the level of Vishuddha Chakra, Whenever, whenever we come across with the Vyadhi is affecting Vishuddha Chakra, then we should make use of this Raga. Of course, I have selected the Hain, uh, which is having positive effect on this Chakra. So previously, when talking about Dr. Arhant um, spoke about uh, uh, Jeevaswara and so many components. Gamaka is one. Uh, when we uh, present any Raga in a plain form, then it becomes less effective. Like, Re ga ma. This is one way. It's very plain. I will put gamaka for this. Then you understand what gamaka is. Re ga ma pa. putting some humming, I have done some variation in the same raga. 
so which has enhanced the effect. Similarly, every raga will have its own identity. There will be particular note which indicates that particular raga. We have only seven notes, Sari, Gama, Padani, but we have innumerable ragas. Uh, so that individuality for raga comes from Jeevaswara. That is the mandatory uh, for that particular raga. So that's what we call it as Jeevaswara. Uh, and Manodharma I mentioned in between. So Manodharma, it speaks about the individual, individuality of the Gayaka, the singer. He should have, he is having his own individuality based on which there will be effect of Sangeeta. So this will be another aspect which we should, we should know. And the last one is Gayaspa. So there should be a synchronization between the listener, singer, uh, and the component which has been used for the process of listening, that is Gayana. Gayana, Gayaka, Shrotru, all the three should be synchronized, then only it will be effective. So we are doing all these activities. So if the listener is not listening, then it is of no use. If the singer is not singing by his heart, then it is of no use. That's why the concept of Para Pashyanti Madhyama Vaikari, the doctor uh, Arhant uh, talked with you. So knowing this is very important to have effective Sangeeta Chikitsa. That's why uh, uh, we presented that important concept for you. So this Raga is Malaya Maruta. We come to know about its practicality. Over to Dr. Arhan for further Shastra Bhaga. Thank you. So in the previous slides, we came to know about various aspects of Bhava and Raga. Now let us go to the third component of Sangeeta that is Tala. Tala is nothing but a temporal device which measures the duration of Sangeeta. This is nothing but a temporal device in order to regulate the frequency of Swaras or regulate the frequency of uh, the Ragas etc. Here it is just to stabilize the Sangeeta. Here Tishnagati refers for three uh, tala here chaturasva gati refers for four kanda gati refers for five Mish, uh, mishra gati refers for seven sankirna gati refers for nine uh, talas so fourth component in sangeeta that is kruti or the literature of the song is very very important if the literature has more weightage, then we can effectively induce a particular emotion, expression or the bhava in the patient, thereby we can tackle the particular disease. The kriti which is mentioned in Vedic Vedas, the kriti which is, uh, which is uh, of Shankaracharyas, the hymns of Puranas, the various works of Vajjayakaras such as Kanakadasa or Tulasi Dasa, etc. The works of Sangeeta Trinities, Dasa Parampara, especially we found we find in Karnataka. In uh, one of the best examples is Purandara Dasa. Sharana Parampara we find in Karnataka. That is especially uh, the works of Basavanna is useful for uh, for Sangeeta Chikitsa because all these literatures have more weightage in their each words concepts so that it can be effectively induced it can be effectively induced a particular bhava or expression in the patient uh, unless uh, if, we, if, we, if we if we induce the if we can if we use the songs from the films the modern songs then it can it cannot induce a particular bhava or it cannot, it cannot induce particular expression so the works which has more weightage in its uh, kruti should be taken for sangeeta chikitsa now the second stamba out of three stamba is purusha the first stamba we already uh, came to know that is sangeeta the second stamba or the second pillar important aspect is Purusha. Purusha should be considered uh, during Sangeeta Chikitsa. A particular song cannot be useful, cannot be effective in all kinds of Purusha. In Charaka Samhita, it is said that the treatment should be Purusham Purusham Viksha. The treatment differs 
from person to person. Here also the same, Sangeeta differs person to person. So there are three components, two components which are very important. One, first one is Prakriti of the individual. Second, Vyadi, disease of the individual. Along with that, the condition of condition or the stage of the Vyadi is very important to give Chikitsa. So Bhava is useful to tackle, especially the diseases of Manas. It has significant influence on Manas. Raga is significant and effective to tackle the diseases or the imbalance in Indriyas. Likewise, Tala is very essential to tackle the diseases of Sharira. Entirely, Bhava, Raga and Tala tackles the imbalances of Manas, Indriya and Sharira, thereby Atma can be um, balanced. So, further, let us go through with individual system based prescriptions in gastrointestinal diseases or in gastrointestinal conditions raga anandabai ravi and saveri raga is quite significant in case of cardiovascular system vasanta raga and karahara priya raga is quite useful in case of respiratory system ailments raga chakravaka and Kirwani Raga is significantly used. In case of urinary system diseases, Raga Anandavairavi and Ranjini Raga can be effectively used. In case of nervous system related disorders, Madhyamavati Raga and Kannada Raga is quite significantly useful. Now let us once again switch back to Dr. Srivatsa for the practical demonstration on Agnya Chakra. Over to Dr. Srivatsa. Thank you. So, we are uh, at the topmost level now. We experienced the five stages of consciousness till now. We are at the sixth stage, that is Ajna Chakra. So, for Ajna Chakra, once again, we all know it is Dhumadhya. So, I request you all to keep uh, your back erect. Keep your eyes closed and uh, try to perceive uh, the raga, try to perceive the effect of uh, raga, then we will come to about the discussion. Mm -hmm. Ananya Cheta has said that Marati Nityasha Tasya Ham Sulabha Partha Nitya Yuktasya Yogina Om Itye Aksharam Brahma Om Itye Aksharam Brahma Vyaharan Mamanusmaram Yah prayati tyajan deham sayati paramam gatim sayati paramam gatim sayati paramam 
Gunting. This raga is Revati. Both the hymns are selected from Akshara Parabrahma Yoga. As I already said, we are supposed to focus on Ajna Chakra. Ajna Chakra is something special. We are getting linked with the supreme energy. So for that, the Raga Revati is very ideal one. So whenever we come across with the diseases pertaining to Ajna Chakra, we are supposed to make use of this Raga Revati. Over to Dr. Arhant for further Shastra Bhaga. Thank you, Dr. Shivatsa. After rendering from Dr. Shivatsa, let us continue with uh, the stambas, three stambas of Sangeeta Chikitsa. So we are in the second level of Sangeeta Chikitsa, that is Purusha aspect. That is Purusham Purusham Vichya, individualistic based Sangeeta prescription is very essential. Here, in case of sensory organs related diseases, Raga Todi and Pullaga Varali Raga is very, very essential. In case of immune system related diseases, Bilahari Raga and also Hindola Raga is quite useful. In case of musculoskeletal diseases, Raga, Purvi Kalyani and Nata Raga is very useful. In case of endocrinal diseases, especially Amrutavarshini and Kapi Raga is very useful. In genital system diseases, Kamavardini, Baudi and Mohana Ragas are very, very essential. Now let us enter to the third part of Sangeeta Chikitsa. Out of three stambhas, we completed two, two stambhas, that is Sangeeta and Purusha. The third and the final aspect is Yukti. After knowing Sangeeta and Purusha, how we administer that, how we administer Sangeeta Chikitsa that matters for the effectiveness of the treatment. So here, Sangeeta Chikitsa should be administered with two objectives. First is Swastya Rakshana purpose. Second is Vikara Prashamana purpose. In Swastya Rakshana, non-invasive independent means of wellness and healing is enhanced in an individual. In case of Vikara Prashamana, we are, a, we are to create the convergence music with medicine. So very important slide I am presenting in front of you. This is the reference from the textbook Sangeeta Ratnakara of Sharangadeva, where 10 drugs has been mentioned starting from Stariva to Kantakarika. These 10 drugs matches with the Kantagana Mahakashaya of Charaka Samhita, which is explained in Charaka Sutrasthana, fourth chapter. These 10 drugs, if we, in, if we administer the 10 components of the music or 10 components of the swara can be improvised. For example, Sariva, if we administer Rakta component of the swara can be enhanced. It means coordination between the different components of the swaras. Ikshvula enhances Madhuram component of Swara, that is pleasing presentation. Madhuka enhances Vekta component of Swara, that is expressions of emotions. Pippali enhances Purnam or completeness of the Swara. Draksha enhances Vikrishtam aspect of the Swara, that is a representation of Tara Swara. Vidari enhances Sukumara, Sukumaratva of the Swara, that is softness in voice. Kaideria enhances Samam aspect of voice, that is contextual singing. Hamsapadi enhances Prasannatvam of Swara, that is singing with confidence. Brihati enhances 
the alankritam aspect of swara that is the production of swara from appropriate site finally kantakarika enhances shlakshmatva of swara that is maintenance of all forms of pitch so further let us go through with few additional aspects or additional treatments if we could able to administer all these different treatment measures along with the sangeeta chikitsa then effectiveness of the sangeeta chikitsa can be enhanced if we can able to administer the relaxation techniques in the patient breathing techniques such as pranayama various diets and nutrition such as sattva dominant diet and nutritious food if we can able to uh, administer along with some sangeeta chikitsa then it will be more effective during sangeeta chikitsa environment is very very important where we give sangeeta therapy all uh, the setups all the rooms or all the opd setups are not conducive for sangeeta treatment along with the sangeeta therapy along with sangeeta therapy if we can give aroma therapies or smell therapies conducive smell if we can able to administer and chromotherapy or color therapy if we can able to administer then the effectiveness of the sangeeta chikitsa can be enhanced in the particular patient and particular imbalance or the particular disease can be balanced as early as possible so there are further there are two modes of administration of sangeeta chikitsa the first one is active mode second is passive mode in case of active mode the patient itself should sing a particular set of ragas of a particular kirtanas or krutis along with bhava and taala here the patient himself should sing a song by this the patient can improve his voice voice culture can be achieved overall personality development can be um, seen and also adhd disease can be controlled vocal cord diseases can be limited and the quality of life can be enhanced and the second one is the passive mode where the patient will be passive and another expert singer will be in active mode he will be singing a particular song the patient should listen the singer should sing a song along with bhava raga and taala and kruti in with a suitable kruti and the patient should be asked to get synchronized with bhava raga taala and kruti what the singer sings so that is the passive mode through this mode Uh, this mode is applicable for all individuals with major and minor mental disorders along with that psychosomatic diseases can be controlled and it is also seen that lifestyle disorders can be managed effectively in the passive mode of sangeeta chikitsa so now let us once again switch back to the practical demonstration of a particular kruti based on sahasrara chakra over to dr shrivats namaste we are in the top most level we are talking about a sahasrara chakra of course uh, uh, we should uh, salute to adi shankara uh, because uh, when we we are talking about sangeet uh, chikitsa and that to we are presenting from karnataka they are hosting from kerala uh, so at this level if we forget adi shankar then i feel uh, somewhere it is uh, injustice to so keeping this point in mind for sahasrara chakra uh, which is linked with all the remaining uh, six chakras which is the regulator of all six chakras uh, we thought that uh, rendering of uh, adi shankar with the more ideal so now i'm going to present uh, atma panchaka of adi shankara uh, which is a package uh, of energy 
uh, which normalizes the energy of both human as well as universe, which synchronizes the energy levels of human as well as the universe, and which is having all um, for strong positive horizon. So that's why I have selected this one. So now once again, uh, with uh, the aspects of uh, all the chakras in a relaxed condition, because we experience the relaxation with all the chakras, so now we are at the level of Sahasara, that's why with that feeling of relaxation, once again, let us feel uh, the level of energy at this chakra for that I request you all once again to keep your back erect and uh, focus on your breathing and try to feel this. This is going to be presenting uh, in a different raga. I will talk about raga later. Mm Naham deho nendriyantarangam Naham karah pranavargo na buddhi Dara patyakshetra vittadidura Sakshi nitya pratyagatma shivoham Rajvajnana Vati Rajuryadana Dhatmano Jeeva Bhava Aptopya Hibhramti Nashe Sarajuhu Jeevo Naham Deshi Kopya Shivoham Abhati Dham Vishwamatmanya Satyam Satya Jnananda Rupe Vimohat Nidra Mohat Swapnamatana Satyam Shuddha Puno Nitya Yeka Shivoham Matto Nanyat Kinti Datra Tivishwam Satyam Bahim To Mayo Paklaptam Adarshanta Bhasamanasya Tulyam Mayadvaite Bhati Tasma Shivoham Naham Jatona Pravridhona Nashto Dehasyokta Prakrita Sarva Sarma Kartrutva Dishinayasya Sti Naham Karasya Ivam Kyatmano Me Shivoham Naham Jata Janma Mrityo Kuto Me Naham Pranaha Shutpipase Kutome Naham Chittam Shokamoha Kutome Naham Kattabandha Moksha Kutome Naham Kattabandha Mokshau puto me Shivoham 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 
Feel the vibrations of the raga. Feel the rhythm. Recall the literature. So it is talking about oneness. It is talking about the unity. It is talking about the synchronization of Purusha and the Doka. So the raga which I have selected, there was a question. I really felt very happy with that question. Why you have selected only out of ragas, so why not uh, Sampurna ragas? So I kept Sampurna at the end because then only we can come to know about the Sampurna. So that's why Sampurna was kept at the end. So this is the raga, Pantavarali, in which all the seven notes are there, Sarigama Padani, all the seven notes are there. It is a raga from Pratimadhyama. Uh, those who know Sangeeta, they will understand. For them, I'm just presenting this point. So, Pratimadhyama is always uh, meant for all the three components of Sangeeta Chitta. That's what we started from Shanti, Dhriti and Dhriti. So, this Raga, once again, we started with the initiation of Shanti, Dhriti and Dhriti. We are coming to the end phase uh, wherein we are supposed to maintain the optimum level of Shanti, Dhriti and Dhriti. So that's why the Raga Pantavarali, it is also called as Kamavarji, has been selected uh, here once again to move towards a Paripurnatma, which is required at present scenario. So over to Dr. Arhan. Thank you, Dr. Shivasa. So at the end of marathon deliberation of more than one and a half hours, now we are at the end of we are in the end of this presentation. I think now we are able to now we are able to know the fundamentals of music with its relevance in treatment. I think I hope you are sensitized to Sangeeta Chikitsa. It is well said by Ustad Bismillah Khan that Indian music lets us forget bad experiences. You cannot keep both ragas and regrets together. Hope. We forget all our regrets and inculcate ragas in order to balance our tridoshas, in order to balance our balance and get synchronized with manas, sharira and vak. Hope this Sangeeta journey continues in your life also in future. Over to Dr. Srivatsa for conclusionary aspect. Everything has been presented. Uh, always uh, we think that whenever whatever we talk, uh, that should be in practice. So that's what we try to present today. Uh, we started with the Shast uh, concept of Shastra and concept of Prayoga. So we try to present both uh, Shastra as well as Prayoga together. And many people, they were uh, putting the question, stating uh, how to implement this, is it practical? So that's what we mentioned, presented here. Uh, only the practical aspects supported with the concept that we try to present here. Uh, so ultimately our journey is towards uh, Loka uh, and getting communion with uh, Loka, which is very important. And that's what Adi Shankara, everywhere he says, Tattvamasi, Shivoham, Aham Brahmasi. So same thing has been mentioned in Charaka Samhita, Shari Rasthana, fifth chapter also. Uh, Uh, so keeping that concept in mind, loving all of uh, for you all, uh, it, it, it's a small effort uh, what uh, we could do uh, with this era of uh, technology. Uh, if uh, audience are uh, in front of us, then presenting will be entirely different. Without audience, when we are presenting, uh, this, this is a bit challenging uh, for us, but still, uh, 
uh, we could do that uh, in the form of e that vidya sambhasha and uh, we are very happy to say this uh, we started that vidya sambhasha with a different uh, uh, perspective 5 years back uh, after 5 years we came up with e that vidya sambhasha for that uh, i wholeheartedly thank uh, the people of uh, pampa uh, and uh, especially adding a very special day at the occasion of uh, international yoga day uh, in our life Uh, we try to present whatever we knew, whatever we tried, whatever we practiced, whatever we experimented, whatever we learned, and of course we are learning in front of us. So whatever the points we got from this, uh, make use of it, uh, start doing. So there is long way to go ahead. As I already said, it's it's an ocean in which we presented a droplet for you all. Uh, so thank you, people of Pampa. Uh, it was a very nice uh, experience with you of course uh, saying thanks for dr arhan will be always a uh, very less uh, in my life so as usual he gives me a part in every aspect so today also uh, he did uh, his part i did my part always we do like this so let like this journey will go ahead uh, all your life will be musically beautiful musically melodious so let the sangeeta chikitsa will be a part in your life also because the words swara sari gama padani the swaras themselves they are positing uh, presenting the positive thinking uh, sari is representing both gama is a just unite or coordinate pada is a destiny me is to give oh god please provide me the boat strength to cross the ocean of life to reach you so with this uh, let me say thank you everyone thank you thank you all about thank you excellent excellent presentation sir. you were both like yeah, thank you thank you <laughs> you were both like uh, you know dynamic duo <laughs> thank you thank you so much first class thank presentation you. yeah <laughs> first class presentation let me tell you and the first thing that i i need everyone to notice is the time because we i'm I, very I sorry for that, that it is, <laughs> it is we are extremely sorry no, for that no, I, i'm just saying it's a, no that is because of the interest in the subject that we forget time right so thank you for that uh, of course we I mean, will not be able to take all the questions but we will take some of the questions from the participants sure, uh, sure, uh, sure. directly go to questions uh, yeah. of course i'm very sure sir the first question even from my side uh, <laughs> will be is there any recording of this <laughs> <laughs> see what happens it is recording is individualized what i practice is uh, i won't give any generalized one or because uh, that's what we mentioned from the beginning raga is for rogi raga is not for roga this effort what we did as as usual what we do in ayurveda so in sangeeta chikitsa also we have two components one is we call it as generalization another we call it as specification so it is generalizing is very tough but still we did we did it uh, for specification initially what happens if a person or if a doctor who is not knowing sangeeta he will be having this challenge first try to listen so mm -hmm. when we experience sangeeta then only we can advise it in the form of chikitsa so from there the learning should start this is one thing uh second thing if anybody is interested if uh, you are demanding then we will think about this in future but what i practice is i will record and i will give this is what i am practicing because as i already said positive aphorism differs from the individual to individual perception of raga acceptance of raga always differs from individual to individual and the need of the patient is also differs from individual to individual so these three points usually i will keep in mind and i will incorporate to the test so based on experience we have made some generalizations and those generalizations we have presented for you like this particular raga for this chakra so that is based on the experiences what have we come across in the different patients and that we presented in front of you so first learning always is shoot from generalization isn't it so mm -hmm. simply we say no yoga raja gurudev in vata vyadi or in sandhigata uh, vata like that then we go in d for individualizing so that is higher level it is like phd in sangeeta okay i will go to dr sharanya raj is asking a question dr sharanya hello 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 yeah please namaste sir there are many musicians they were putting so many interesting uh, questions uh, uh, namaste <laughs> sir it was the amazing perform the, i mean the this thing was very nice thank you Actually, thank you so much uh, i feel like uh, like whatever i've learned from you this is the things i felt in my mind sir why can't we use this for treatment of covid i say this because there are some reasons because i learned from your slides 
because this janapad dwamsa which we are facing right now is kind of can be cured only, only by mantra mangala bali homa and the sangeeta comes under mantra which you have taken from the reference from bhagavad gita right and then you say this bhava raga tala all these are there in the it has manas sharira and indriya all the three are actually affected during this condition okay and then uh, sir uh, also uh, this uh, uh, yeah let's go we'll go one by one doctor. yeah this is yeah, yeah i uh, 100% i accept with you uh, there are so many technical and uh, other issues to, to comment on this uh, particular subject but still i am supposed to answer for this question so if whole universe develops the positive attitude then tackling any situation will not be difficult for anyone so that's what ayurveda is speaking about always so all everyone should target towards dhatasamya that is certainly possible if we try to put effort in this angle certainly we can do that so we should have that mindset uh, that requires a lot of effort which is very important so if we do that certainly we can handle that and also these slides whatever we presented it is based on our experiences if these experiences or these evidences should be put or put is put be, uh, should be seen under the heading of or under the scope of research and it should be um, well documented then only we can actually command uh, with evidence so now the now we it is under the experience level it should be taken to the higher level of research so uh, if we can do research then we can able to uh, advise in covid also next question from dr pankaj hello yes okay. yes please namaste thank you Ah, uh, there are two different. Uh, as I already said, uh, we make use of even instruments, but many times what happens with instruments, uh, the, that's what I mentioned earlier. Kriti plays major role. Uh, whenever you are in need of much of positive aphorisms, uh, that cannot be induced through instruments. Uh, so there comes the literature which plays major role. So, if the patient is in need of much of positive thinking, if the patient is in need of much of positivity, then uh, having literature having positivity should be advised, which is very important. And that's why we have selected all the hymns having uh, positive aphorism, all the hymns having positive uh, representation of thinking. So, this is very important one, and we can make use of instruments. Nothing wrong in that one, uh, and we make use of instruments, of course, in different conditions. so that depends on the demand when I mean, sometimes what happens we come across with people who are not knowing the language or who are not perceiving the language because it's also having its own impact at that level sometimes we make the instrument so that depends once again on the patient so based on the patient we should make it uh, either vocal or instrumental so acceptability also come into picture and the condition also will come into picture so based on these two uh, we should make use of that it's very important I would like to add say anything, Doctor Han. Hello. Yes, yes. Very important here is uh, the kriti, uh, especially Sanskrita based kritis or the literatures. If we are presenting in the form of uh, singing, then initially we have to tell the meaning. Actually, the meaning should be conveyed to the patient properly. Then we have to uh, do singing. Otherwise, if we if we go on telling the Sanskrita based shlokas or Uh, old Kannada based shlokas or old Malayalam based shlokas, then it becomes quite difficult uh, to develop the bhava in the patient. So that's why before uh, uh, the actual sangeeta therapy, we have to uh, convey the particular meaning of the literature and uh, induce the bhava. This bhava can be enhanced very effectively in case of Gita or vocal music. rather in case of vaditra or instrumental music so always geeta will be more effective than vaditra 
डॉक्टर ईशा हेलो डॉक्टर ईशा हसवानी हेलो हेलो डॉक्टर ईशा यस एम आई ऑडिबल सर यस यस यू आर ऑडिबल ओके नमस्ते सर सर माय क्वेश्चन इज रिगार्डिंग टू वन नाड़ी द रिलेशन बिटवीन द नाड़ी एंड द रागा इज देयर सो बिकॉज वी जनरली सीन दैट द नाड़ी इज डायरेक्टली कनेक्टेड विद द चक्रा सो दैट्स द सेम रिलेशन व्हाट वी हैव so can you sir <laughs> please tell me the which raga is can affect to the which nadi no it is not like nadi nadi is the connectivity between chakra chakra is the center which regulates this and so directly we have the description so we should focus on chakra and the nadi which are coming under the purview of that chakra will get stimulated by that particular raga that is the link so whatever the nadis we have all the nadis are under the regulation of these six chakras so these six chakras regulate the respective nadis coming under uh, those chakras so whatever the ragas we mentioned if we make use of them so automatically the nadis which are present in that particular region will get purified this is how we consider and moreover whenever we talk about the disease we talk in terms of chakra rather than nadi so nadi shuddhi takes place through the raga which is meant for that particular regional chakra so this is how we are supposed to act okay dr han नमस्ते I would like to know: Have you tried songs in local languages? Because I feel that uh, yeah, I the, because the bhava is bhava is very yes, important, yes, yes. and uh, uh, whatever you sing or whatever you uh, ask him to listen, that mm. should be close to his heart, isn't it? Yes, that is true. So, that is true. Uh, 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 Kriti in Sanskrit may not be understood by each and every one. Yes, so, I just yes. would like to know whether you have yes, tried. Yeah. yeah, I tried with the two ragas. Uh, I think you know Kannada. hello hello ah okay uh, so uh, the in kannada vadi uh, raja has uh, he is a well known uh, personality in uh, carnatic music and uh, he composed one kriti taalu vike ginta anya tappavu illa so uh, i am extremely sorry for telling this in kannada i will translate it so it speaks more about the patients um, so this particular composition is tried with uh, tried, i tried with the two ragas it was Uh, a research which i try to conduct on a group of people uh, exclusively highly professional people so two ragas i have selected one is bindu malini uh, another one is sunada vinodini so i was just uh, trying to check the bhava that is going to be induced along with this uh, particular composition and along with these two ragas so sir so i got two positive observations in the study uh, because of the impact of that particular kriti which is uh, talking about patience tal main means patience uh, so the effect shanta bhava was much in bindu malini uh, whereas ananda bhava was much in uh, sunada vinodini uh, it was very good ex- uh, experience which i had uh, which was done on 100 people of two groups both were highly educated and executive people it was an equation what i got to work on so wherein as you asked uh, i come to know about the influence of raga and bhava induced and influence of composition certainly second thing the language sanskrita it's something special and the shab the words in sanskrita they are in the form of energy shabda brahma that's had been mentioned so word itself is a package of energy that itself is going to induce uh, the strength in the provide the energy but still when we convey the meaning properly then the level of effect will be entirely different that's what dr arhan was it automatically the effect will be entirely different so better we have to convey the meaning which is very important one regarding the uh, dr pankaj hello hello sir yeah please uh, nam- uh, good evening sir very nice presentation uh, Um, my question is thank you hello ha yes you are audible please tell uh, sir my question is uh, in lockdown period uh, everyone observed that 
the nowadays people's patient patients are uh, too decreasing uh, i want to ask uh, uh, the all the younger students and people want uh, lots of money in short time period so aajkal ke dino mein sab logon ko jo patients kam ho rahe to aise patients badhane ke liye kuch aise shastriya sangeet ya music hai ka jisko sunke siddhasan mein headphone se sunke patients ko badha sakte hai इसलिए मैंने कहा हमारा जो लास्ट प्रेजेंटेशन था प्रेजेंट रेंडरिंग वो पेशेंस को मन में रखे हुए ही किया हुआ था तो हमारा इंटेंशन वो ही था हमने नहीं बोला कि ये इस सवाल इसका है इसका है वी वर वेरी पर्टिकुलर एंड वी थॉट ऑफ नॉट टेलिंग एवरीथिंग कीपिंग कोविड नाइनटीन इन सेंटर दैट विल नॉट बी वेरी कन्वीनियंट वन एंड दैट विल नॉट बी कंड्यूसिव वन सो बट इंटेंशन वाज़ द सेम आप विल बी द बेस्ट जज फॉर योर सेल्फ यू जस्ट ट्राई टू अब्जर्व यू जस्ट ट्राई टू लिसन डिफरेंट रागस रेगुलरली then you will become familiar with everything then you will be able to observe aapko samajh mein aayega ki kaun sa aapko suitable ho jayega so usually for a relaxing uh, that's what the importance of taala we were talking about so the rhythm which is very slow we have madhyamagati we have vilamba we have atidrita like that it is a higher level of music that comes in further level of assessment so wherein uh, we go for the rhythm which is uh, in a very slow motion and we we choose uh, once again the composition which is going to induce positive aphorism that's why i selected atma panchaka at the end and raga also uh, which is not too high which is not too low so in between the raga should move so such type of raga should be incorporated used then uh, we can have uh, calmness throughout so generalized raga we cannot advise but still generalization we did with the help of pantwarali and all in front of thank you uh, anything to add uh, dr arhan uh, nowadays it is quite commonly seen that the quality of life is decreasing because all the individuals are not having interest to to, to live so live to the fullest so the scenarios what we are seeing in day to day uh, life Uh, pre previous days um, uh, one of the famous actor in hindi bollywood got uh, suicide so because because of uh, not inter not having interest in life so we are losing uh, the interest in living uh, living our life to the fullest so in order to enhance the livingness to the fullest we have to inculcate this sangeeta in our life this is very very essential thereby quality of life will be enhanced thereby all the doshas will be balanced so this is the right way of uh, this is the right time to inculcate this uh, sangeeta chikitsa this is uh, most important thank you thank you dr arhan thank you dr sivastava we will be stopping the class now uh, thank you for uh, sharing the knowledge uh, you know uh, usually after the class i will be tired and i'll be you know uh, uh, getting ready to sleep but i don't think i'll be able to sleep because i feel elated thank you for this uh, wonderful session thank you